Hi, this is TK Viper doing another Life in Japan blog, and today I'm going to talk about the Japanese Jinbei. A traditional wear for the summertime for guys, it's called a Jinbei, and uh, this is a black Jinbei. It comes with matching shorts, they go down to above, uh, below your knee, and people wear this uh, during summer festivals or matsuri. You can see traditional dancing and also fireworks shows and eat a bunch of uh, street food, very good street food. And uh, here it is. Give you, let me give you a closer look. So first of all, along the sides and around the sleeves, we have openings with this, these nets here. They allow uh, more ventilation and also this area for your armpit so you can cool yourself down. People uh, use their paper uh, fans in the summertime. It's very hot and humid here. And uh, this one has decoration here with the patterns of flowers and some other some other Japanese uh, designs and they go around the collar all the way down to the bottom and even the straps on the back of the straps you can see the same uh, same design this one has two pockets in the front so uh, very useful you can chill like that and it comes with a very rare inside pocket which is sewn on just like that and now you can put your wallet or your cell phone smartphones in here which is kind of cool I wonder you can fit a iPad mini in these pockets I doubt it oh, I think yeah, it, it will fit in here but uh, you gotta take off the case and here and yeah, these pockets will fit too if we take off the case but with the case on it won't fit anyways uh, I didn't get this just for uh, festivals I got it so I can make videos with it when I'm playing my Japanese uh, instruments like this uh, 1.8 feet Japanese uh, bamboo shakuhachi flute so it's a nice combination I would say uh, this is 1.8 feet a uh, very old piece of bamboo around 50 or 60 years old you can tell by the coloring it's very dark it's got a lot of damages but very good uh, for accenting the flute like these two areas here they've been hacked by an axe or a knife and this one is a very rare uh, shakuhachi in, the, in, in, the, in that the joint is covered by sakura bark or cherry blossom tree bark and you can see the natural designs of the, the bark the patterns of the bark and here instead of using water buffalo horn the inlay is made from elephant ivory so a very expensive piece right here unfortunately I can't export it, import this into any other country it's illegal now. This flute was made maybe some 30, 40 years ago before they banned it. I'm against hunting elephants for their ivory. I just bought this because it's a beautiful flute. It's a giari flute meaning that inside there's a layer of G plaster. You can see how shiny and smooth it is. So it's a giari flute. And again looking at this part here you can see how dark that is. It just turned dark after, after a few decades. Very, very beautiful sounding flute. Plays both register the lower and the higher octave very nicely, very easily. And I think it's because of this piece of uh, ivory inlay. It's a very heavy flute, around 350 
grams, I would say. So that's uh, almost one pound. Very thick. So, uh, yeah, this is very nice material. Matake. You cannot get that material nowadays. Some people use uh, buffalo horn, water buffalo horn, and nowadays some people use plastic for uh, so to lower the price down. This is ivory, and if you get the ones with the gold paint, uh, gold paint around the ivory inlay and around the joint, those are worth four thousand dollars. So uh, shakachis are not cheap, but they are beautiful and they are very very nice and very expressive. Just. Uh, yeah, I played a lot of flutes before and this is by far the best. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends about my two channels, TK Viper and TK Viper Tech. And I will catch you guys next time. Take it easy. Bye.